What's up guys? I'm Rachel Smith and you may know me as the co-host for ABC's On the Red Carpet, but this time around I'm serving as your guide to a cool new series on Oscar.com called Oscar's Best Dressed. We are going to find out what it really takes for those stars to rock the red carpet. This is going to be a cool journey because first we're going to meet George Kostiopoulos. He's this awesome celebrity stylist and we're going to take a look at some gorgeous gowns with him at a place called Film Fashion here in Hollywood. They have dresses for days and days and days. George and I are going to talk gowns, of course, because ladies, as you and I both know, it all starts with a dress, so what are we waiting for? Come on, let's go. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Rachel. How are hey. you? How are you? <laughs> so great. It's so I good am, to meet you. This whole process is a little overwhelming for me because I feel like this is every girl's dream to be surrounded by this many gorgeous gowns. Okay, well, that's why you have me. <laughs> thank goodness, thank goodness. So tell me, you're a celebrity stylist, but... What is it that you actually do? What is a stylist? Well, basically it's making this whole process easier. So walk me through the process. How would you go about selecting a gown? You know, I'll email you things I think are beautiful and then we'll request them and then we'll, we do a fitting and we see what magic happens. Let's go, All right? So this is a beautiful strapless dress with a ruffled hem. You could get away with doing very simple jewelry with something like that because it's elaborate. Okay. This is great. I mean, mm -hmm. this is just like a beaded strapless dress gown like this mm -hmm. in a subdued, it's a darker color, it's very right. subdued. It'll just, you know, hang on you. So that's very pretty. Yeah. Um, no. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. <laughs> this is, this cool. is gorgeous. Okay, so the thing about these neon colors is to me they look beautiful on pale girls like this model uh -huh. and on dark girls like you. Okay, so this is a great color, of course, but mm -hmm. you know what? We really need to see the fabrics, touch yeah. them, feel them, hug them, love them a little bit. Love them a little bit. Let's go to the showroom and let's look at go some love them. Okay. <laughs> Okay, oh, so let's look at some dresses now, perfect. right? Perfect. See, I love nude gowns. I think oh, nude pretty. skin color are very beautiful. And you know what? This looks sheer. Oh, it is. And cutouts. But so is sheer okay for the Oscars? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Because you can't tell that. It just gives the illusion. But cutouts are really big. Like really? anything that's, you know, like especially in the upper midriff area. That's beautiful. I really love this. This is very cool. like 1940s. Yeah. Should we try this? Sure. Oh my God, let's totally try <gasps> so exciting. it. Exciting. This is another version of that dress. And I even like the different textures. There's suede, there's satin, there's crystal, there's, you know, chiffon. Well, you are the genius, well, so I will try it on. Well, I think you on. should try. It's a very pretty color. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's very pretty. I like the embroidery. I, I think that's so pretty. You like this one. You want to try this one on. I think right. so. We have I lots of beading. Heavy. I know, they're really they're, heavy. They're giving me a workout. <laughs> this is a beautiful, beautiful color. I love the color. I mean, color. another option is with something like this, you could do a really big earring or a big mm. statement necklace. Yeah, yeah. Or you can make a statement with your hair or your makeup. So if you do a simple dress, you know, I always say keep your statements limited to one thing. Do you want to try some dresses on? Let's do it. Are you ready for I'm, it? It's going to be fun. So exciting. All right, so let's go do it. Let's go do All it. All right, cool. All right. All right, guys, I'm finally by myself in the dressing room about to try on these insanely gorgeous dresses that Oscar nominated actresses have access to. Working with George has been awesome, but uh, fingers crossed, something fits. <laughs> oh I need your help. Come my on. goodness. <laughs> Here it's like amazing. Okay. I mean, your waist looks tiny. I even kind of love your hair down like that. Really? I mean, I kind of like the idea of having big earrings that kind of pop in and out with your long, sexy hair. Ooh. Next one? Ooh, so beautiful on you. It's great for the red carpet. Mm -hmm. But it's almost like, maybe it's not Oscars. Maybe this is more Grammys or even Golden Globes. I feel like it's just not quite Oscars. Next one? Next one, okay. next one, next one. The Ooh. princess has arrived. You know what? You do look like a princess. It's <laughs> oh, beautiful. I kind of feel like one. You look like Grace Kelly. This oh, is beautiful. Thank you. I kind of wanted to go a little more like fashion forward, and I feel like this is very safe. Tell you what, you don't have to make your mind up just yet. I have a special surprise for you. All right. All right. There's an incredible <laughs> exhibit over at Fitham downtown, okay, and it's showcasing costumes from all of these Oscar winning films and then mm -hmm. they have their permanent collection as well. And you'll see how film and fashion are a perfect marriage. They influence each other. So mm -hmm. I think you're gonna kind of see how maybe you think that this is safe and expected, but elegance and is always in style. It's timeless, you know, right? It's timeless. All right, so All right, good. so let's go. Let's go check it out. Like this? Yes, absolutely. Oh, okay, like this. <laughs> you look too good. <laughs> All right, film fashion was awesome. Hanging with George, super fun, but I think I still need a little bit of inspiration, so hopefully our next stop will provide me with just that.